What's going on, everybody? It's Cam, back again with another film breakdown. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Hollywood Brown. Uh, obviously, he signed a one-year deal with the Kansas City Chiefs yesterday. Um, I think it's a win-win for both sides. Uh, Hollywood is is going to explode in this Chiefs offense. I really do feel that. Um, gets to play with a, a competitor, obviously a team that has a very good chance of going back-to-back-to-back. Um, Chiefs get a little bit better, and they address the need of like a true number one receiver. Um, but with all that being said, before we dive too far in, I do want to thank everybody for the support. It's uh, really, really been cool coming back, and I know that we have you know a little bit of a hiatus here and there, but you know I'm gonna get videos in whenever I can. I just don't want to lose touch completely with it. So, um, with all that being said, let's go ahead and dive into Hollywood Brown and what he brings to the Chiefs. Uh, with this first route, right, we're getting just kind of like a four umbrella from the Cowboys, um, and we see Hollywood here at the bottom. He's gonna stem this thing upfield, and the thing that I really want to point out with his route is that excuse me, that's not Hollywood point, man. This is Hollywood. Um, as he stems this upfield, he's gonna turn these corners hips. Right right? Because he's going to make this route look like he's going to break it off on the inside and some sort of dig. As soon as he gets that corner's hips to turn, he breaks this thing back outside. It's just good route running, just little stuff like that, especially when you're trying to get to the sticks or, you know, you're trying to run a deeper out route, like little things like that are, are huge um, when it comes to being able to really create separation. And that's really the biggest thing with receivers right now and all these stats that you see with like Amazon and PFF and all that bullshit stuff that I honestly can't stand but creating separation from the receiver position is the biggest thing um, and obviously there are a number of tools that you need to have in order to do that but at the end of the day your route running ability I think is probably one of the the top three important things like your speed your release and your ability to run routes and break guys off those are the three things that attribute to being a, a great route runner and to be able to create separation on those routes when we focus on this one-on-one -on -one matchup at the top this is a really good route from Hollywood right he stems this thing inside and we see a lot of his routes are crossers because he's got speed and it's tough to keep up with him across the field however when you set guys up like this right we give him that crosser look then we're going to send this up into like shake route and this is an excellent job at the top of the route watch breaking this guy off we see that quick head turn that quick shoulder fake in order to get that corner to, to bite on that and stem this thing to the outside obviously Josh Dobbs doesn't get this ball to him but again the separation that he's creating is really really impressive we see this clip again from the end zone here and we'll see Hollywood in this corner at the top we just see again that quick head fake is able to get that corner to bite and we create that separation with this next clip again we just see the corners being afraid of what he can do deep right and we see Hollywood at the top of the screen here he's just gonna work up field get this corner's hips to turn and break like he's running a fade and then he shuts his route down easy first down right and you see the Chiefs do a lot of stuff and they did a lot of stuff like this when they had guys like Tyreek in the building who could really sell corners and defensive backs on speed um, the other thing that Hollywood brings to the team is is just separation on deep balls I think is a, a really really important um, th this is a really good play from him right this is just a straight up one on one um, this is against Stefan Gilmore too Stefan Gilmore is a, a great corner still is a great corner in the league we see him at the bottom right here um, just the, the key to me in this situation is right before that ball is going to get there Hollywood fades more towards the sidelines and this is just him setting up his route from the beginning of this thing right and we see I think a lot of young receivers who when they break on on this they'll get too close to the sidelines because that's where they're creating that separation early right they feel like oh I'm getting towards the sidelines I'm creating separation you have to work upfield and not necessarily through the corner but to his outside shoulder and then you're trying to stack him right we get hip to hip now we're trying to burn upfield don't lose this thing towards the sidelines and create another defender right um, really good job from him in this situation create that separation at the last second two feet down big catch for a first down uh, moving on to this game against the Niners just more of his like short area quickness and ability to run routes right we see at the top of the screen um, every team in the league runs this sort of bunch stuff I, I think that the Chiefs will probably do a little bit more of this and we see a lot of it with Rasheed Rice and how they work to get him open um, Hollywood's at the top here and just again this clips more about his ability to run routes he turns this thing from basically like a speed out and then he whips it right around this corner um, just again stuff like this and little things like that and what he can do after the catch are all things that I think are very important factors when looking at what he can do with Kansas City um, he does a lot of good things in terms of route running ability here's a, just an example of him with his speed on this crosser right um, and again the, the route he runs here is really good and I think that he's a little bit more of, of a technician than people give him credit for so he's going to come all the way across the field on this and, and what I want to point out is the depth at which he creates right because really what's supposed to happen defensively Fred Warner is supposed to wall him off right that's what he's supposed to do he's supposed to carry with this so as soon as he 
he sees, hey, we have no run threat here, he's going to bail out and he's going to look immediately for Hollywood. He locates Hollywood Brown, but there's just no way he has the speed to get underneath of this thing and really carry him at his hip. There's no way, right? And Hollywood creates way too much space. And then obviously what he can do with the football in his hands after he catches it is even more impressive. He's not a guy who's just going to catch and fall. He's a guy who's going to be able to turn that thing upfield um, and really gain some big yardage. He, he is an absolute threat everywhere he goes. Uh, and then on top of that, he, you know, he, he can make contested catches, which is something that's pretty impressive for him. I think he's only like 5'9", 180. Um, but again, just insane speed incredible ball skills um really good job on this catch just making that contested catch you have that safety coming down over the top and then again the release off the line of scrimmage here at the bottom is really impressive um he's quick his short area quickness is really is again some of the better that i've seen in the league and it's just last year he played for the cardinals you know and the cardinals were a they're a tough team man like they're they're a young rebuilding team um they end up picking up hollywood to kind of pair with kyler and that doesn't end up working out and he ends up finding a home in kansas city but again it with this clip right here just looking at his speed right um we see him get to the hip of this corner and then he's just gone you know and you put a quarterback who can put that ball on him in those situations or give him the ability to run under it he can be a really really lethal player um another thing that the cardinals did with him not as much but i think the chiefs are going to do with him a lot is line him up in different positions to create mismatches right here he's lined up in the slot uh this is again just another phenomenal route from him he ends up catching a fade but he stems this thing in gets this corner to turn his hips right like that and then he breaks it back outside right so he does a really good job of dictating speed off the line of scrimmage um he forces that corner to play at his speed right that he's not going to jam uh because he doesn't want to miss and get beat um and in this situation it is a good job of dictating that speed working upfield and pushing it at a higher tempo and then he slows down cuts back across and he's able to create a ton of separation on that fade just a good route from him and again i think that we'll see the chiefs do stuff like that where they'll mix and match and put him in the slot and they'll put him in places where he can win one-on-one -on -one battles and he can win those matchups you know this clip again is just him being fast like holly is a very fast football player um I, I don't know if he has Tyreek level speed but again this route running is it and so that's something that Tyreek kind of people don't talk about but Tyreek is an excellent route runner an excellent route runner and I see a lot of those similarities with Hollywood right this route's a really really good route as well we're gonna stem this thing outside get this corner again his hips to turn boom but we're stemming it outside that speed is our biggest threat we're worried that this dude's gonna burn right by us so we have to try and play not over the top but we have to try and keep up with him as soon as that corner's hips are turned and he's committed we kick this thing back inside from hollywood and the burners are on and to be honest if this ball and if we have something on the back side to keep that safety out of the way too like the, this ball is going to be complete and it's a, a big play for a touchdown I, I would not be shocked to see hollywood have like a couple of very very long touchdown receptions next year just because of what the chiefs can do and how they can scheme him open and how fast he is um, again his ability with the ball in his hands after the catch too and this is something that the Chiefs do a lot with Rasheed Rice right and we see a lot of stuff like this um, where the Chiefs are lining their receivers up in bunch and that's more why I put this clip in here is just because I do think we will see the Chiefs do a lot of stuff like this with Hollywood but line them up in bunch create two thing, two routes going vertical and then we have that underneath route from here I think the Cardinals are running mesh yeah we're running mesh in this situation but again clips in here to show you what he can do with the ball in his hands after he catches it incredible speed and the ability to create uh you know opportunities to score after he catches the ball um and then this again this clip right here is just his ability to go get a deep ball right and this is something that i think the chiefs have really been missing since tyreek's been gone it is a, a receiver with the ability to go and, and catch a ball at 35 plus yards right and they had a, they got a little bit with you know mvs had a couple of big catches but nothing like this last year i mean this is just one-on-one -on -one outside the numbers um really great job of being able to turn a really good back shoulder from kyler um but create that separation from hollywood and then go up and get this thing again he's not the biggest guy in the world but he creates a ton of mismatches and he's his catch radius is a lot bigger than people think i i, I would i would imagine as well because he's not the tallest cat and because he's not the lengthiest guy um but again incredible body control incredible speed um and a honestly a steal i think for the chiefs I, they haven't had a receiver like this like I said, since Tyreek. Um, and I think that he's going to do a lot of things for this offense in terms of opening up and really giving them that deep threat that they had before. 
Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, if you could leave a like, leave a comment for me, that would be incredible. Uh, I appreciate all the support I can get, and there'll be a lot more videos to come. So that's all I got for you guys today, and I will see you next time.